Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette here. I have a 1963 Corvette convertible for sale. Um, not to be confused with a split window coupe, and I can, you know, other than appearance, there's such a dramatic price difference between the two, it's, it's, it's incomparable right now. 63s are on fire. Um, you know, it's just that iconic look that uh, people are rediscovering. And with all the new C8 buyers and all the new interest in the Corvette and the new Corvette, a lot of people are looking at these cars for the first time. And uh, rightfully so, it's, it's a gorgeous car. Probably the best first year car uh, ever out there. I mean, when these things came out in 63, it's like a spaceship. So anyway, this is a great example. Great high level driver. Um, nice original body on it, the unhit front. Yeah, you know, it's got a couple stress cracks here and that was painted a long time ago, but you know, really looks great. There's, you know, it looks like a base coat, clear coat uh, system on there. And you know, really it's, it's it really pops. Uh, some of the interior was new, you know, the uh, seat covers, uh, you know, I think the door panels. I can never always tell exactly what was done in there. Um, but the course, you know, it's been, it's been, you know, well, well maintained and well preserved. It has a replacement engine in it. It's a later model 350 cubic inch, uh, but otherwise it's, uh, you know, original. The uh, chassis is beautiful on it. And, you know, we've gone through the car. I took it on a trade actually. And it's just a, it's just a really nice car. This car runs great. It's just a lot of bang for the buck. Even authentic original engine cars. Um, they're, they're, they're over 100 grand now. I mean, the cheapest 63 coupe you can find out there is 150,000. Uh, I, don't, I don't see 63s dropping in price anytime soon. So if you're in that market, um, this car is actually a better driver. 63 coupes get hot. And unless you, you know, want to pay big money for an air car, um, you know, the appearance is obviously different, but it's still a 63 and you got that iconic look. This has uh, Kelsey Hayes, um, uh, knockoffs on it. Now they are, I believe, from 1969. Uh, so Kelsey Hayes was actually reproducing their own wheels later on, and then Western bought the tooling from Kelsey Hayes. So these are not original 63 wheels. They're not original 66 or 65 wheels either, uh, but they are original K, uh, Kelsey Hayes wheels. Kelsey Hayes wheels. So um, nice, nice little thing. Uh, they're properly uh, put on there the, the, uh, you know their uh, the, car, the the spinners are on correctly uh, you're gonna have big problems if that's not done right and uh, we've gone through this car and it's 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 ready to go turn the key and go so good car to get a jump on spring uh, these prices are going to keep popping going higher um, that's a lot of bang for the buck take a good look at this one and it runs great so we're going to take this one out for a ride next okay i got this thing up to temperature so we're just going to head out this car shows nicely and mechanically it's really really well sorted out great great car it's a little bit of a hot rod too uh, the engine that's in here I believe it's a little later you know it's not a 63 engine and it's it's pretty well built. It's pretty stout. It's got a ton of torque, and uh, yeah, it's set up to run. Yeah, you know, run on pump gas, but it's it's got it's got nice solid uh, torque. I took this car for a quick ride, but I didn't run up the red line. I know my mechanic said it uh, said it's good, but I will test that. All the gauges show proper, even the clock works as it should. The odometer um, is not working, so this will be sold mileage exempt. Because I don't know what the mileage is. Radials, it's, it's you know, it runs real nice, real nice and smooth. It feels good. We're showing 60, uh, just 
just over 60 miles an hour, feels about right. No vibrations. I like it. Still a drum brake car, so yeah, it's got it's got a little extra go, but not a little extra stop. So that is noteworthy. But it feels good. Just a nice looking overall. The top's nice on it. You're just a great driver. I did check uh, this earlier. The, the heat works. It's a little cooler today. It's in the 50s. So I did try the heat, and that's working well. All the yep, defrost works well. Yeah, it's always nice on these cars when all this stuff works. You don't have to spend a fortune getting all that stuff uh, redone. Somebody already did all that. It does have a custom auto sound radio in it. it sounds good, not great, but it's good. It gives you a little bit of sound. Yeah, man. 70s soul. All right, enough of that. Um, Overall, this car shows nice, drives nice, mechanically sound, cosmetically really nice, really clean body. Um, this is representative of, of, of what we term a high level driver. And, you know, I have this, in, this conversation with inspectors all the time, you guys come out and look at cars for clients. And you know most of those guys are, are knowledgeable car guys, but not deep into the nuance of Corvettes. And you know, I just had a had a guy out today looking at a '62. It was a really nice car, and um, you can spend five, ten grand less than you know on something that I'm asking for, and end up with a car that needs thirty, forty thousand dollars worth of work. So it, it, it pays to step up and buy the right car. Now you can overpay for a piece of junk, but what I consider a high level driver is something that you can get in and drive it. I know that sounds ridiculous, but let me tell you, a lot of cars you can. All right, let's get on this bad boy. See what we got here. Baby, that's good. All right, it's a little bit more generous than its uh, 5,500 RPM uh, red line. I just ran it up to 6,000, and it, it, it had more in it. But yeah, you know, I'm guessing that this engine's uh, you know built for that range. That's where it felt like it was making its top torque. So that's where I shifted it. It's where it felt good. You know, it's just, you, you get a feel for that, and that's what that's what this car was designed to do, make peak torque at 6,000. I can't tell you the cam in it, but it feels honestly to me like a 350, 350 cam. And that's where they peak at. They're done at 6,000 RPM. It just flat, it goes flat. But transmission feels great. Yeah, driveline feels great. There's no... Well, there's no surprises because it would have broken the way I just shifted it if there were. So it won't break on you. And, uh, you know, that's what I want. I want a happy customer. And this thing, this thing's dialed in. We're going to have to get some gas in it because it's, uh, oh, it's getting hovering down there a little over E. And uh, that E is for empty, not extra, or enough. So anyway. It runs nice and cool. It's a cooler day today. It's in the uh, upper 50s. That's so why not the top down. But it, it, this thing has a good thermostat, good radiator. Everything feels right. And uh, this car you can buy with confidence. Just if you want a driver, you like the colors, look no further. Because again, you won't have to spend money on the car. I mean, you can always spend money on a Corvette. You know. <laughs> I remember back in the days you bought a Corvette, you'd get a 
you'd get a you know uh, a magazine from Mike Yeager, and uh, you know first time Corvette buyer, you're buying a Corvette shower curtain, and you, know, you can always spend the money. Corvette lawn chairs, you name it, beach towels, but you know the car doesn't need work. So that's why we do our test drives together. I hope you feel like you're, you know, getting a good uh, sense of what I'm trying to convey. Because I do it, I do it because we believe in the cars that we sell. We're not trying to hide anything. And uh, yeah, stuff will go wrong with them on test drives. You've seen it probably. If you've watched enough of my test drives, um, you'll see. Yeah, you know, cars are doing. Yeah, because people don't drive them the way I'm taking them out and running off the red line. They just don't. So you'll see some black smoke once in a while. Every now and then you might see some, you know, blue smoke. Every now and then you might see me pulled over because I broke the car. But I, I'd rather break it and fix it than, you know, have a customer that just spent all the money and the thing's just not right. So that's, uh, that's what it is. And this, this baby fits the bill. This is a, this is a, a great, great high level driver. So if you have an interest, give us a call and uh, we'll make something happen for you. Hey, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you again.